what's going on everybody it's svt vasquez back at it with another video in today's video i'm going to show you guys the best way to level your ground for an above ground pool let's start this show and here we go okay guys so first of all in this project i made a lot of mistakes and i'm here to share this video so you guys don't make the same mistakes as i did so first of all as you could see right here i'm testing out the ground to see if i have soft dirt or hard dirt uh, if you have that hard uh, dried up clay uh, difficult to uh, move around dirt like you see here my shovel's not even penetrating the surface um, that's very compact and uh, it's hard to move around you're gonna need more than a shovel and uh, you're gonna need the right tools so if you have loose soft dirt then a shovel will be fine you can bring a wheelbarrow uh, start shoveling out the high points and just move around your dirt that way and since I have hard uh, clay compact dirt I'm gonna be showing you how to move that kind of dirt around here so one of the very first mistakes I did was take this job way too lightly as you could see in the beginning of the video I was wearing tennis shoes and I wasn't wearing gloves and the next day my not only my tennis shoes were beat up but my hands were all blistered up and uh, it was difficult to work with the tools since I was missing pieces of skin on my hands so I ended up having to wear gloves for the rest of the job okay guys so in the beginning as you guys saw I completely failed with the shovel and uh, this dirt wasn't going anywhere with a shovel so here you can see me pickaxing and this is bringing out the big guns you're gonna need a pickaxe the hard clay dirt that's uh, really compact there's no other way around it this is the best results you're gonna get so as you can see I'm not completely going up and coming down with full force on uh, my dirt because mine isn't too uneven to the point where I need the whole pickaxe to penetrate the ground so I just needed about three to four inches so I'm not using proper form and bringing up the pickaxe over my head or else that would have gone too deep in the dirt and then um, I would have had too much loose dirt to move around instead of just enough uh, the three or four inches that I needed so so depending on how uneven your dirt is you might want to come over your head and use proper form but as you could see I'm just giving it light taps uh, getting about how the depth that I need so uh, just keep that in mind so another mistake that I made was uh, actually making the dirt print uh, exactly 16 feet and that gave me no wiggle room as you could see the pool is not a perfectly circled those legs actually kick the pull out about uh, just a little bit over 16 feet so to give yourself some wiggle room make your uh, diameter one foot further than you actually need it so in my case instead of making it a 16 feet diameter I need to make it into a 17 foot diameter so that I have a little bit of wiggle room to work with uh, when it comes to the legs of the pool so I actually had to go back and work the dirt one more time so I actually only had one eight foot two by four but to extend it for a 17 foot two by four I actually added a three foot uh, two by four at the end of my eight foot two by four and then I attached it by drilling some uh, screws with these side supports here as you could see it's sandwiched to give me a straight line and uh, this is gonna prevent it from moving around because I'm gonna put some uh, serious force on it so I reinforced it with those two by fours on the side uh, drilling some nails through it uh, some deck board nails and that worked perfect for me giving me extra length for that 17 foot diameter so as you can see here I drilled a hole through my 2x4 and I uh, drove a rebar stake through my 2x4 into the ground to hold it in place and then uh, I pulled it with uh, some straps for towing and uh, I constantly was checking the level as you could see I have a level on top of my 2x4 
and I, I pretty much just spun the 2x4 around. If I ended up having some high points, I grabbed my shovel or my pickaxe to move the dirt out of the way. And you're just going to keep doing this over and over until you're satisfied with the level of the dirt. And if the dirt starts building up on your 2x4, just shovel it out, out of the way. Um, it's going to make it that much easier. But this is how I extended my uh, diameter from 16 feet to 17 feet. And this is going to be the last time that I have to work with that dirt because of my mistakes of lowballing my footprint on the dirt, making it 16 feet instead of 17 feet. This took about three days. Um, I worked the shovel the first day. That was an epic fail. The second day, I did it right, but uh, I didn't make the diameter big enough. So th this is the third day here, finally working it 17 feet. And uh, after this, I will have the perfect uh, footprint to set the pool on. Alright guys, so I'm done leveling the dirt. And uh, right now I got this painter's tarp. Just because of the, the grade of dirt that I have. As you can see, some of these rocks have sharp edges. So um, I went ahead and flattened everything down and put a tarp just in case uh, these rocks are too sharp, it'll give me a protection barrier. So not only this uh, painter's tarp here, but I also have this uh, blue tarp, which will be 16 by 20 feet. So it'll cover the, it will cover uh, most of the pool since my pool is 16 feet and it'll give me an extra protection against those rocks like I said and also it's going to be a weed barrier and all that good stuff maybe even um, maybe even work with the thermal regulation keeping the pool warm not letting the heat escape to the ground so maybe it'll work for that who knows but mainly I have it to protect me from these sharp rocks so I went ahead and took out most of the big rocks but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that blue tarp and then start setting up the pool Okay guys, so I went ahead and put the tarp down the ground is level the tarps are up and now it's time to put the pool into place and uh, I'm gonna leave that for the next video, but this is the video of how to level your pool to uh, make sure that your pool ends up being even and that you don't have to drain it and move it around You want to get it right the first time around and stay tuned for the next video because plenty of more mistakes were made So just to recap the video make sure you're wearing the right gear you're wearing uh, protective not only boots but gloves Make sure that if your dirt is hard dirt, you break it up and then shovel the excess dirt out of the way. Uh, you don't want to be spinning that 2x4 all day like I was. Make sure you uh, go to the high points, pick up the dirt and shovel it completely out of the way so you're not just moving it around. And uh, last but not least, make sure that you have the right size diameter. You don't want to come up short in this job. Give yourself some wiggle room. Before you go, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no thighs. No girl, you don't know about me. So get off my fucking D. Born and raised in the thigh. This is real as you gon' see. You girl, you don't know about me. So get off my fucking D. Get off my D.